Woman from Ohio, Ms. Captor, for five minutes. I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute to revise and extend my remarks. The gentlewoman is recognized. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, I rise today to speak about ex an extremely dangerous situation in rail corridors across America. This includes the busy mainline rail corridor between Pittsburgh and Chicago that cuts across northern Ohio, including most of my district. In northern Ohio, rail is the spine of our economy. To stay competitive in today's economy and avoid expensive supply chain delays, industrial and agricultural America must think big about modernizing rail solutions. Our nation must prioritize rail safety, give people more transportation options, and expand access to national and international markets. In the past year, three significant train derailments by Norfolk Southern have taken place in Ohio. Last October 2022, a 21-car derailment occurred in my district at Sandusky, where Norfolk Southern has dragged its feet for over half a year in cleaning up the mess. That job is still not finished. This rail corridor, again, drew national attention with the major derailment earlier this year in East Palestine, Ohio. The imperative topic of rail safety has many clear and sometimes deadly impacts on students across our nation. A recent ProPublica excellent news article I am submitting for the record highlights the risks for students in Hammond, Indiana. Children are forced to crawl under or over very long park trains that block their path to school. ProPublica Investigative TV witnessed dozens of students in Hammond climbing over, squeezing between, and crawling under the train cars just to make their way to and from school. Railroads of America wake up. In my district in Northwest Ohio, I've also witnessed situations with students in extremely dangerous, deadly situations. In December of 2009, along that same main line, rail crossing at McCord Road in Lucas County, Ohio, a train hit two students on foot in my district, killing one of them and putting the other in critical condition at Toledo Hospital where she underwent surgery. Cody L. Brown, a 15-year-old freshman, was pronounced dead at the scene. Brianna Mullinger was taken in critical condition to Toledo Hospital. The students, both band members, were walking to school when that westbound Amtrak train struck them. In the wake of this tragedy, our community constructed an underpass below the Norfolk Southern Rail Line at McCord Road to try to avoid future tragedies at this same rail crossing. But there are numerous such places across this corridor. Our effort protects students, pedestrians, drivers without interrupting traffic or flow of trains, pedestrians, or cars that pass through this intersection. These stories are emblematic of some of the long-standing, unaddressed rail issues America continues to face to this day. Railroads of America, wake up! Let us use our bipartisan Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act to fix these rail problems that exist and take steps to address them from coast to coast. Now is a pivotal point where our nation can fix these challenges with funds available from the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. I urge Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg and President Biden to pay particular attention to this regional corridor from Pittsburgh to Chicago. It is so dangerous. Help us convene rail stakeholders to relieve congestion and identify key infrastructure improvement projects. This is a time freight companies like Norfolk Southern and CSX and Amtrak should come together at the same table. Let us craft solutions to address long-standing issues regarding rail safety. Communities are begging to work with these companies that never return phone calls to help fix these long-standing, solvable challenges. We must look to the future and join together to protect the public, our students, our rail workers, our communities. Let us deliver both transformative and safe commercial and passenger rail solutions. The tools are at our disposal. The money is there. But where are the rail companies? The time is now. Let's do what we in the industrial Midwest do best. Let's get to work. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back.